My name is Leslie Keedy, and I'm the urban forester or the arborist for the city of Santa Cruz. Uh, my role here at the city is I review plans, I do all the permitting, I'm involved in anything that's horticultural related. Is. And annually for July is Parks and Recreation Month, I host a tree walking tour and we do that with the public for free. And so um, obviously we're doing this virtually for your entertainment now. So the first tree I wanted to bring to your attention is this tree right here in our courtyard at City Hall. It's called a fire wheel tree, and its genus is Steinocarpus, and its species is Sinuatus. And you'll notice that the leaf on the tree is wavy, and Sinuatus in Latin means wavy. So in a lot of times, the names of your plant or tree are actually going to describe the characteristics of your plant. Uh, it's in the Proteaceae family, or Protea family, and you can see up in the canopy, we have these little tiny spiral-shaped flowers that are shaped like wheels, and they call it fire wheel. So it's a really cool, unique tree. There's not a lot of them. This is the only one in Santa Cruz. There's a few down south in Carpinteria, and um, they're around here and there, but they really do need a Mediterranean climate in order to perform. Steinocarpus, the Latin name, basically just means that the fruit, carpus, is narrow. This species of Steinocarpus doesn't have a narrow fruit, but other trees in this genus do. And uh, as I mentioned, the species describes the leaf characteristic. So just a very cool tree. It's starting to rot in the center. We've been monitoring it for about 20 years now. And we're allowing these two other trees that came up as sprouts from its root system. So ultimately, when the larger tree falls apart, we'll still have these two representative Steinocarpus babies that will be perfect to fill this space. Another tree that we have planted around our city hall complex as a city street tree, and it is on the city approved street tree list, is this jacaranda tree. And we usually run this tour, as I mentioned, in the summertime, this time of year, early spring. It's um, sometimes interesting that the trees don't look their best or they're not flowering this time of year. Um, the jacarandas are native to Mexico, and it's jacaranda mimosa folia. The leaf looks a lot like a mimosa tree, and so that's why it's called mimosa folia. It's in the big noni Aceae family. Most mimosa tree, or all mimosa trees, are actually in the family, but um, this is in the Big Noni AC family, or in the uh, family of the trumpets, and when you look at Fabaceae characteristics, it's a pea pod typically, these have a seed pod that is, it looks like a, a bivalve or a clamshell, an oyster, something along those lines, and um, they, they really like a warmer climate, this time of year they look a little yellow, but in a few months they're actually going to be blooming covered in very showy lavender purple trumpet shaped flowers. Very cool. Um, the only problem with these is sometimes they're prone to getting aphids. So once in a while if you have a jacaranda and you get a lot of black sticky stuff around the tree, then you actually have an insect problem. So you do have to monitor the tree to uh, control aphids periodically. 